Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing an ink review of an ink from Vinter Inks. Now I got a sample of this from the uh, Desk Bandit. It is Blue Blood or Dugong Bugao 1521 and I apologize for how I said that but yes it's a Vinter Inks Blue Blood. Now this is an interesting ink. It is a super high sheening ink just you can see it there. So and that has pros and cons, which we'll get to in a second. Now, I have this just, this is a very quick review. I have it inked up in my Twisby Eco here, which is my sort of standard. Um, the broad, uh, this is a super saturated, high sheening ink. Nice dark royal blue, as you can see there where I've done the little smears. Um, and with a lot of red sheen, uh, which gets everywhere. I'm wearing a lot of it on my hands. Um, I have it here on Tomo River paper. So this is the Inalaya note notebook, and this is Vinter Inks Blue Blood. You can see just the sheen it gets there. And you know, yes, it does perform very well. These high sheening inks seem to have quite a high viscosity. Uh, so they don't necessarily bleed or feather that much. They can bleed on cheaper paper, of course. Um, but here on uh, Rhodia, um, you know, of course we don't see anything like that. So let's talk a few of the qualities. Actually, let's put some water down on it and then we'll talk through some of the qualities uh, and then we can uh, talk about some of my feelings. So here is the water test. Okay, let's just mop that up. And now let's have a bit of a chat. Okay, so firstly, here's the chromatography of this ink. Now I did the line here and it was all soaked up and I think we can see that they line up fairly well. A lot of the detail is taken up because this ink is so saturated, like that's just from the lines on that page. It reconstitutes very, very easily. On paper like Rodeo where it doesn't absorb in, uh, it sits on the top of the paper. This is what you're going to get. So not only does it um, absorb up very easily and you lose a lot of the detail, but because there's such a saturation, it just sort of goes everywhere. And this is where this ink becomes a bit of a problem um, because like in a sample like this or in the bottle, these high saturated inks will crust up around the top of the bottle. They dry. And because they are, there's so much pigment in the, in the ink, it crusts around the top and you get like... You can hear that and you can see there you know and that's going to happen with any sample or any bottle of this ink it's sort of it's all they dried around the cap now that's fine except for the fact that now if we look at this page we have collected on this page a large amount of little shavings of the ink is that a problem well only if you get that wet again that's where this happens um so this ink will resaturate, it'll reconstitute as a liquid and goes everywhere. So let's talk about uh, some of the scoring I've given this ink and sort of where it goes. So, um, for, oh, actually, let's do like a little writing sample of it here. So you can see it go on blue. And it's a nice blue. I really, really like that blue. Like that is actually a really gorgeous sort of nice sort of dark blue and then we just get covered in sheen. Now I, I, I'm the first person to admit that sheening isn't my favorite ink property um, but I think that uh, if you're into sheening then uh, I'm actually just gonna dab this again to sort of get rid of that powder because uh, that's gonna end up everywhere and anyone who's used these inks or like the nitrogen uh, from Organic Studios or anything like that, we'll know that that will end up everywhere and will stain your clothes, it'll stain your desk, it'll stain your feet. Um, so, yes. Uh, anyway, I'm not a huge fan of sheening inks. I, I prefer to see the colour of the ink. and But if you're into sheening, this is one to look at for sure. So shimmer. No, it's not shimmer ink. Shading is low because it is so highly saturated. You get a little bit. Like if we look at the cross there of broad, you can see like a nice little bit of the blue coming through there uh, against the sheen, which is excellent. Um, sheen is high. 
Feather and Bleed are both low. Flow, I would say, is medium. It does feel like a thicker ink. Um, you know, there's like a... It's not a watery ink, and, which means that, like, yes, it's sort of high to medium wetness as well, I suppose. It's an odd thing to say. Uh, but, you know, it's just such a highly saturated ink. And that also means the dry time is super slow. So this is 45 to 50 seconds on Rhodia. But what's really crazy is that... Like, even once it's dry, now this was written a couple of days ago, um, which I'm trying to clean finger, it doesn't already have it on it. Like, you can just smudge that ink because it just sits on top of the page. Um, water resistance, I'm going to say, is low, and there's also a whole lot of other <laughs> issues that go along with that. Um, so, Value for this ink is fair. In Australia, you pay $19 for a 30ml bottle. Um, and of course, that price will change depending on where you are in your currency and import charges and all those sorts of things. But in Australia, it is $19 for a bottle. So I'm going to score this ink uh, 3 out of 5. It has some properties that are really good. If you're into sheen, this is one to look at. It doesn't uh, feather or bleed or anything like that. So there are lots going for it. My personal score for this ink is 2 out of 5. I just think things like that crusting on the bottle, um, some of the flow sort of issues that occasionally happen with things like this, the fact that, you know, you're talking about something that is a gimmick in a way, let's be honest, the she high sheening inks like this are a relatively new fad thanks to things like Nitrogen Blue. Um, I don't mind a little bit of sheen. Some of those Robert Oster inks sheen beautifully. Um, this is, to me, this is bordering on a gimmick. And that's a, and, and if it's something that you're interested in, and we all love looking at it on Instagram, uh, it's amazing. Um, it's a wonderful effect. But for everyday writing, I think that that sort of that's a bit sort of um, perhaps just a little bit excessive. So yes, this was Vinter Inks Blue Blood. Uh, you know, not a terrible ink, just not not for me. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Uh, but some of these sort of things like the smudging and the dry time just makes it not not yeah not something that I can use in my everyday writing uh, and so this would be for particular projects I suppose if they came up hope you found this video interesting and useful if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below you can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below uh, you can, uh, if you've got products you think I should be looking at or a way like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens and your ink, and I'll talk to you later.